the 2010 Chile earthquake occurred off the coast of central Chile on Saturday, February 27th at a very, very, very early 3.30 in the morning local time. Hi, I'm Chris May, writer, producer, and host of This Day in Weather History, now in its second year from the Weather Network in Canada. Chile had the distinction of already recording the strongest earthquake on Earth back in 1960. Now they had the fifth biggest earthquake ever recorded on planet Earth this day in weather history. When your country is literally located along the subduction of the Nazca plate that runs beneath the South American plate, it makes this prosperous and beautiful country highly prone to large magnitude earthquakes. The earthquake on the 27th of February of 2010 was almost as strong as the one that happened in Indonesia in 2004. Remember that one? Yeah, that was the one that killed nearly a quarter million people. The fault rupture in this event was largely located offshore, was close to about 100 kilometers in width, and was also running for nearly 500 kilometers parallel to the coast. That's massive! In the aftermath, U.S. scientists have measured with GPS that the city of Concepcion moved more than three meters to the west. Wow. The Chilean capital, Santiago, was shifted 27 and a half centimeters, and even Buenos Aires, the capital of Argentina on the other side of the Andes Mountains, moved four centimeters. The most terrifying thing about this 8.8 magnitude quake is that it lasted at full strength for about three minutes and was felt strongly in six Chilean regions, from Valparaiso in the north to Araucanía in the south. This stretch of geography accounts for about 80% of the country's population. It would be kind of like the Great Lakes region in Canada if we were to compare them. The scale for shaking is pretty cut and dry with their graphic terminology. Check this out. For instance, according to the United States Geological Survey, the USGS, the cities that suffered the most intense shaking were Concepcion, Arauco, and Coronel. They registered a level 8, which is termed severe on the Mercalli intensity scale. Then how about this gem? According to Chile's seismological service, Concepcion experienced the strongest shaking at what was classified as violent. You gotta know that if a government agency is laying out that terminology, it's legit. It was officially termed very strong in the nation's capital city of Santiago, where the majority of the country's population is centered but the tremors were felt far and wide. In many Argentine cities, including Buenos Aires, Córdoba, Mendoza, and La Rioja, and as far north as the city of Ica in southern Peru, and that city is approximately 2,400 kilometers or 1,500 miles away. During the 20th century, Chile was rocked by no fewer than 28 major earthquakes, all with a force greater than 6.9 magnitude. Just south of Concepcion, the epicenter of the 2010 earthquake, there is a fault rupture nearly a thousand kilometers long that produced the largest 20th century earthquake worldwide. This was the giant 1960 earthquake that was a magnitude 9.5, the largest earthquake ever recorded. In that tragedy or terror, it is estimated that 1,600 lives were lost to not only the earthquake, but also the accompanying tsunami in Chile with the tsunami also taking over 200 additional lives between Japan, Hawaii, and the Philippines. And in 2010, it did it again to almost the same areas and close to the same scale. This earthquake unleashed a tsunami torrent that devastated several coastal towns in south-central Chile and damaged the port of Talcahuano. It was so powerful that it also triggered tsunami warnings in 53 countries, including the United States, where a tsunami wave washed ashore and caused minor damage in San Diego, California, but also on the other side of the Pacific, in the Tohoku region of Japan. Again, just like 1960. The earthquake also knocked out the power of close to 93% of the entire Chilean population, and that lasted for days on end. For many. According to official sources, 525 people lost their lives, 25 people went missing, and about 9% of the population in the affected regions lost their homes. 
It was estimated that this earthquake and concurrent tsunami cost insurance companies between four and seven billion dollars and resulted in losses to the Chilean economy of between 15 and 30 billion USD when it struck in the middle of the night this day in weather history. Tomorrow is a real doozy. Mansions <laughs> with lakefront property in Hamburg, New York were very literally encased in ice. Very, very thick ice. And it was a thing to behold. Well, unless you own one of those houseicles. I'll tell you exactly how this came to be and how it ended up tomorrow on this day in weather history with me, your host, Chris May.